In this video series, we're going to look at the link between autism spectrum disorder and the gut microbiome. The prevalence of autism spectrum disorder, or ASD, is currently on the rise, with the U.S. Center for Disease Control and Prevention currently reporting that 1 in 54 children is diagnosed with ASD, compared to the 1 in 150 children in 2000. And this increase in diagnosis is not specific to the U.S. As we look to better understand ASD and its core symptom presentation, the gut microbiome has been become a focus. So in this video, we're going to first look to understand the important role the gut plays in development and how it impacts critical and important processes in both the gut and in the brain. Early childhood is a period of significant behavioral, cognitive, and immune development. The gut microbiome is thought to play an essential role in the programming, modulation, and the development of the immune system. In addition, the development of the gut microbiota are thought to be closely tied to the development of cognitive and behavioral processes. The influence of the gut microbiome during brain development appears to be essential for normal brain function and maturation. Research suggests that there are critical periods where the gut microbiome may have a larger influence in brain development. In support of this, research shows that there is a correlation between developmental microbiota composition and behavioral temperament, functional activity within the brain, and cognitive function. It is possible that abnormal gut development could disrupt these critical physiological processes, leading to long-lasting impacts in overall health as well as the development of various disorders. While it would be easy to suggest a link between gut microbiota and neurodevelopmental disorders, currently this link is only correlative, suggesting relationship, but we don't actually know what impacts this relationship. Though this relationship is not causal, we do know several external factors that can impact gut microbiome development, including gestational age, mode of delivery, infant feeding method, and antibiotic use. Interestingly, clinical research has shown that children diagnosed with ASD are more likely to have been born via cesarean section, have ear infections, and be exposed to more antibiotics. At both extremes of life, in early childhood and in old age, the gut microbiome is characteristically different from that of the adult. Research indicates that gut dysfunction in early childhood or in the elderly significantly increases the likelihood of diseases and brain dysfunction. While more research is needed to understand if the gut microbiome is cause, consequence, or completely unrelated to diseases, and if restoring the gut microbiome could resolve these issues, the importance of the gut microbiome in development is clear. If you liked this video, check out our next video in this series where we talk about autism spectrum disorder and the gut microbiome. This relationship is important as research suggests that children with ASD are more likely to be impacted by gastrointestinal problems, which can significantly impact quality of life. Also, if you want to read more about this information or know where all the information I've talked about comes from, check out our blog. The link is in the description.